This is CBS. <laughs> It's here, the 1989 audio video show and sale at the Timonium Fairgrounds. Free door prizes like Bose speakers, cellular car phone, satellite dish antenna system, meet Miss Penthouse, see the world's largest camcorder display, see the picture phone of the future, and giant screen TV. Just in time for the holidays, Luskin's electronic show and sale. You'll never see more, and you'll never pay less. Luskin's all-new audio video show and sale this weekend at Timonium Fairgrounds. Don't miss it. Vince Gibbons and Camilla Carr, weeknights on News 11 at 6. Teams from Calvert Hall, Frederick, and Hammond meet today on It's Academic. Good morning, I'm Mac McGarry. Here's the opening category round in which each team begins with 100 points. 10 up for a right answer, 10 off for a wrong answer. The answers begin with the letter R. Number one, the smallest of the U.S. states. Calvert Hall, Rhode Island is right next. Element discovered by Pierre and Marie Curie Hammond. Radium. That's right. Next, nickname given to British soldiers in the Revolution. Calvert Hall. Louder. Redcoat. That's right. And next, Alex Haley's best known work. Calvert Hall. Roots is right. Next, Houston's NBA basketball team. Calvert Hall. Loud again. Rockets. Rockets. Rockets is right. Next, South Dakota Mountain with head of four presidents. Frederick. Rushmore. Rushmore. Right. Bird who titles a Poe poem. Frederick. Raven. That's right. And finally, daughter-in-law of the biblical Naomi. Who has that? Frederick. Ruth. That's right. That's the opening round of its academic. <laughs> It's Academic, brought to you by Giant Food, where caring about quality, value, and service is only the beginning. It's their live. Thank you very much, ladies, and welcome to another first round match of its academic. Team number one is Calvert Hall in Towson, Maryland, Baltimore County. Here's Dennis Kelly. Dennis. Hello, my name is Dennis Kelly. I'm a 16 year old junior, member of the French Club, Maryland Mathematics League, and Regis Tutors. And I'd like to thank everyone who came out to support us today. All right, Dennis. And Michael Martini. Hi, I'm a 16 year old junior. I write for the school newspaper, I'm a member of the publicity committee. I'd like to thank our alternates, Mike and Amir, and let's down the Dons on Turkey Day. All right. Let's, let's see. Well, let's be on by, uh, yeah, oh, we'll be on here before that. Here's Bimo Rami. Hi, my name is Bimo Rami. I'm a 16-year-old junior. I'm a member of the yearbook staff, assembly committee, and I'm also a member of the Calvert Hall Mask, which will be putting on their first production in a new building in the first or second week of December. Oh, very good, Bimo. What instrument do you play? I mean, I mean... Did you say the band? No, no, the mask. It's the, our oh, theater group. Okay, your the, theatrical club. Okay. Let's take a look at the screen. Each correct answer here is worth 20. She'll chair... Oh, oh, let's see. Do I have the right one here? Let me just take a look. Oh, that's an old one. No, we don't need that one. We have to move that one along a little bit. And uh, there it is. She'll chair a quorum. You can skip the, qu qu skip the quorum if you're just fine in this sentence. The name of what Mideastern country? See it in there? Iraq is the answer, so no points there. It's in there somewhere. Now, definition. Which of these unpleasant epithets might you use to describe someone who is penurious? Miser. Miser is right. Next. What same last name is shared by this pair? Holmes. Holmes is right, of course. Now, two-parter. Fill in the blanks two ways. You'll get what South American country whose capital is Lima, and also what river on the North Korea-China border? Peru. And? Yalu, so 20 out of 40. Choice. A chemist who was doing an analysis of bananas would note that they contain potassium, and in his notes, he might use which of these as the standard chemical symbol for potassium. Okay. That's right. Quotation, the right to be lazy. In 1883, the right to laziness was argued in a political tract by Paul Lafargue, who was the shiftless son-in-law of what communist philosopher Rodas Capital with some help from Engels. Marx. Marx is right. Calvert Hall, 240 after its part of the round. Nice work, Calvert Hall. Very good. <laughs> well, it's been a long, long time, and it may be the first time we're trying to reach back in history. Anyway, long time between appearances for Frederick High School in Frederick, Maryland. That's a long time. Welcome back. Here's Andrew Hazlett. Andrew. 
My name is Andrew Hazlett. I'm a 17-year-old senior. I'm president of the Frederick High School Students of Objectivism and a member of our mock trial team. I'd like to thank our faculty advisors, Mr. Jim Deegan and Mrs. Kathy House for supporting us. Thank you, Andrew. Here's William Cherney. Hi, I'm William Cherney. I'm a 17-year-old senior. I'm president of the National Honor Society. And I'd like to thank our principal, Mr. Cunningham, and our vice principal, Mrs. Shockey, for coming out to support us today. All right, William. And Amy Martin. Hi, I'm Amy Martin. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I'm the recording secretary of the National Honor Society. I would like to thank all the other its academic team members for coming out to support us. All right, and we do indeed welcome in the audience the principal, Mr. Daniel Cunningham. There's Mr. Cunningham, top left. The uh, vice principal, Ms. Paulette Shockey, and their co-faculty coach, Mr. James Deegan. Thank you all for being with us today. Thank you very much. And now let's take a look at the screen, Frederick, and here we go. Each correct answer worth 20. Number one, hidden word, Amazon of quiet. Hidden deep in this sentence is the name of what major river which empties into the South Atlantic? Amazon. Amazon. Next definition, if you were trying to circumvent the rules, you'd be trying to do which of these? Avoid them. That's right. Next, what same last name is shared by these two? One who won fame on the fairways, the other on the seaways? Jones. That's right. By filling in the blanks, you may name three different countries in modern Europe. Give us the names of two of these three. Albania and either of the other two Austria or Andorra so 20 out of 40 choice if you were taking notes in a chemistry class which one of these could you use as the chemical symbol for the element silver correct symbol first one that's right now quotation all we ask is to be let alone this is not the complaint of a modern movie star but words spoken in 1861 in the inaugural address of what president of the Confederacy Jefferson Davis. That's right. So Frederick, 250 after it's part of the round. <laughs> All right. Hammond High is out here in force. Hammond High in Columbia, Maryland, Howard County. Donald Lundgren. Donald. Hi. I'm a 17-year-old senior. I'm a member of the German club, the golf team, and the chess team. I'd like to thank our palms, our JV cheerleaders, and our great band for coming out and supporting us. Here All right, today. Donald. Here's David Warnke. Hi, I'm David Warnke, Vice President of the National Honor Society, member of the Latin Club and the chess team. I'd like to thank our Assistant Principal, Mrs. Hopkins, for being here, as well as our sponsor, Ms. Heaps. All right, and Samara Hayat. Hi, uh, I'm Samara Hayat, and I'd like to thank all of our... What do you want to call them? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who's here. Yeah. Right? Um... All right. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Samara, for being She's very, very valiant. She has a leg injury. She's had a tough time. We welcome in the audience the vice principal, Ms. Mimi Hopkins, at the top there, and the band leader, Mr. Mark McCoy, on the left, in the center, the Palms director, Ms. Charlotte Bassett, and the cheerleader sponsor, Ms. Mickey Diffendahl. Thank you all for being here. Okay, let's take a look at the screen. Here we go. Hammond number one sees a lemming migration might suggest the mass migration, but hidden is the name of what Massachusetts town that was the site of mass hysteria and witchcraft trials in the 1690s. Salem. That's right. Definition. Which of these adjectives would best describe someone who was contentious? Idle. No, quarrelsome, so no points. Last name. Here you see the first names of two notable Americans who shared what same last name. Salmon was on the Supreme Court. Chevy is the comedian. Ch Chase. That's right. Two parter. The names of what two explorers are needed here to name respectively the strait at the southern tip of South America and the strait that separates the U.S. from Russia? Magellan and Bering. That's right. Choice. If you are studying nuclear energy, you would want to remember that which of these is the chemical symbol for the element cobalt? C-O. That's right. Next quotation. All heiresses are beautiful. The, there were cynics back in the 17th century, too, as evidenced this quote from Dryden's work celebrating what legendary British king of Camelot? Arthur. That's right. So Hammond 2.30 in the end of round one. All right. <laughs> Each year on its academic giant food awards more than 100 scholarships to help deserving students continue their educations. At the end of our program this morning, three guests from Giant will present the awards, and we welcome the guests now. Here are Beverly Reinecke. Welcome back, Beverly. I haven't seen you in a few years. Kelly Quigley making her first appearance on the show. And out of retirement from the L.A. Lakers, Gail Goodrich. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> I told her I wouldn't do that, and I did it. Welcome back, Gail. In the first round match, the Giant scholarship grants total $650, with the winning team school receiving $250, each of the other teams $200. The grants increase with each successive round of competition, playoffs, semifinals, championship match. 
And money goes up as we hit each level. Giant doesn't select the individual scholarship recipients. The schools do that. And presto, change o dominocus. Look at this. Each team member receives the coveted It's Academic t-shirt, 88-89 season. And on the back, here are the people who bring it to you. Wear it in good health here in this coming year. Now let's take a look at the score before we get to the uh, next round. Calvert Hall has 240. That's second place now. Frederick in first place at 250. And what a close match. Hammond is in at 230. Can go anyway. All right. <laughs> Next is a completely visual round. Each correct answer here worth 10. 10 off for a wrong answer. The team whose light stays on has a chance to answer. Here's number one. The unlikely subject of this jaunty 1905 magazine illustration is what Italian scientist considered the father of wireless telegraphy. Who was that? That's a fabled Guglielmo Marconi. Next, although lima beans grow in rather large pods, the true lima bean bush is classified as what sort of stunted plant whose name suggests Snow White's little friend, Frederick. Dwarf. Dwarf plant is right. Next choice. This remnant of a clay tablet shows the cuneiform writing of what ancient people. All right, Frederick. Egyptians. Uh, no, no, Sumerians. We have a choice. Egyptians, Sumerians, or Greeks. So that's uh, 10 down. Next. What is the square root of the product of this expression? Anybody have it? Uh, Calvert Hall. Uh, Your answer? 15. 26 is the answer, so 10 down. Now, although it is nearly covered with snow, you can still recognize this tree as what sort of towering conifer. Uh, all right, Frederick. Redwood. Redwood is right. Next. This is an artist's 1798 depiction of the bustling activity of what London Insurance Company. All right, I don't see any light. Do not see a light. Is there a light? Which has insured everything from ocean liners to the careers of football players. All right, Frederick. Lloyds of London. That's right. Next, perhaps a bit ostent ostentatious for modern times, this canopied bed was designed for James II, English king of what dynasty? All right, Frederick. Tudor. Stewart. No, Stuart. Well, steady, Max. Stuart. So ten down. These art treasures survived the intensive Allied bombing of Dresden in what year in which World War II ended? Hammond. 1945. That's right. This family portrait from the Civil War era is of historical interest because the woman is reading about General Grant's capture of what Mississippi River City... All right, Frederick. Vicksburg. Vicksburg is right. Here you see the Valley of the Ten Peaks. Uh, not enough there. That's in bad... Uh, what Canadian National Park Banff up there. That's the end of the visual round. All right. <laughs> Ah, let's keep it going in a very fast category round. Again, 10 up for a right answer, but now 20 points for a wrong answer. Right in the middle of the continental United States is the state of Kansas, a state which has played an important role in U.S. history. Identify the following persons, places, and things associated with Kansas. Number one, the state capital is Frederick. Topeka. That's right. Next, the woman U.S. senator is... Who is that? Nancy Kassebaum. Next. The state flower. Who knows that one? All right, Frederick. Sunflower. Sunflower is right. And next, entered the Union this year when the Civil War started. Hammond. 1861. That's right. Next, leads the country in the production of this grain. Hammond. Corn. No, it's wheat. The other one's at 20 down. Next, major producer of this gas, atomic number two. Who has that, Frederick? Helium. That's right. Next, birthplace of this female aviator. Disappeared in 1937. Frederick. Amelia Earhart. That's right. Next, bordered on the north by this corn husker state, Hammond. Nebraska. That's right. Next, other current U.S. senator sought the Republican nomination. Who is that, Frederick? Dole. Dole is right. And next, state song in which the deer and the antelope play. Frederick. Home We're, on the range. Home on the range is right. Next, Abel, and not enough there. So that's the end of the category round. All right. <laughs>
A lot of people try giant discount drug because of the convenience. But you know there's another reason that keeps them coming back? Reliability. Reliability means the prescription you need when you need it. That's why Giant Discount Drug fills more prescriptions per store than any other drug chain in the area. You know, it means a good value for your money. So find out just how reliable a drugstore can be by trying the convenient one. Giant Discount Drug. be a hot time in the old town tonight. Yes, thanks very much to the Hammond Band for entertaining us at halftime. Welcome back. Now I have the pleasure of introducing the faculty scorekeepers as we give you the score update. Great match going here. Calvert Hall in Towson is in at 2.30. We welcome their faculty coach brother, Joseph Kynes. Welcome again, brother. Great to see you again. Frederick, of course, in Frederick County has the lead now at 3.30. We welcome their co-faculty coach, Miss Kathleen House. Thank you very much, Miss House and Rose. And Hammond in Columbia, Maryland, Howard County is in at uh, second place at 240. Their faculty coach, Ms. Annette Heaps. Thank you very much. For All right, teams, in this round, each correct answer again worth 20. 20 off for a wrong answer. Now the teams say, get away from me, question. I don't want to even attempt it. Ten points are deducted for that past question. See the lights below the team's names. If they're on in a row like that, that will show eight questions in a row answered correctly. That's 25 extra points. So Calvert Hall, select, uh, you're up. Frederick, select. William? Number three, please. Number three. Here you are. It's Dennis, Michael, and Primo. Although it was largely an overland route, what so-called railroad used by escaping slaves before the Civil War has a subterranean name? Underground. That's right. Columbus' hometown, Genoa, carried on a fierce trading rivalry in the Middle Ages with what other Italian city whose canals now attract tourists? Venice. That's right. The first American battleship was what vessel mysteriously sunk without a battle in Havana Harbor in 1898? Maine. That's right. Now on the monitor, simplify and state in lowest terms the expression shown. Sixteen. That's right. Due to its status as a self-governing territory, Puerto Rico is described with what term that also officially designates Pennsylvania and three other U.S. states? Fast. Ten down. Commonwealth. Scientists would probably attribute the great size of Gargantua and Paul Bunyan to the overactivity of which of the following glands? Adrenal, pituitary, pancreas. Pituitary. That's right. When Andrew Johnson was acquitted by the Senate in his impeachment trial, this forced the resignation of what Secretary of War, who had also held this powerful post in the Lincoln administration? Pass. Ten down. Edwin Stanton. If literary characters held a hobby show, shells would probably be exhibited by what girl who lived in a kingdom by the sea in the poem by Poe? Annabelle Lee. Annabelle Lee is right. So Calvert Hall, 3.30 after it's part of the round. 3.30. <laughs> Calvert Hall, Frederick, so Hammond, so like David, which of these? Four, please. Very well. How about Andrew, William, and Amy's turn in this round? Arizona's name means little spring, but what state on the Gulf of Mexico has a name meaning father of waters? Mississippi. Mississippi? That's right. When he sailed two years before the mast, Richard Henry Dana did so in a ship named for what sort of person who sailed on the Mayflower? Pilgrim. That's right. Many literary ladies have died of poison, including Shakespeare's Queen Gertrude, mother of what Danish prince? Hamlet. That's right. On the monitor, what's the next number in this sequence? Pass. Ten down, uh, it's 13, add three, alternate negative and positive. All right, don't give up the ship were the words of Captain Lawrence, but the SS Lawrence was captained by what naval hero of the 1813 Battle of Lake Erie? John Paul Jones? That was Oliver Hazard Perry, so twin down. Choi uh, ten down. Choice, graphite and diamond are different forms of the same element carbon. Are these two forms called azeotropes, allotropes, compounds? Third 
Uh, no, it's the second one, allotropes, so ten down. Man is not evil, he is simply too hilariously stupid to survive, said what American writer, whose chronicles of man's stupidity include Slaughterhouse Five. Vonnegut? That's right. Someone wanting to honor Wisconsin's Robert La Follette might organize what kind of house-to-house -house dinner party, naming the political party he once headed. <laughs> Ten down, progressive is the answer there. So, uh, 350 for Frederick after his problem. <laughs> and now it is the turn for Hammond in this round, so let's have Calvert Hall select here, please. Uh, Michael, which one? Two. Number two. Okay, Donald, David, and Sumera have a chance in this round. You could dance a minuet, but a minaret is a tower from which the Muslim faithful are five times daily summoned to what religious activity? A prayer. A prayer? That's right. Now, here's the next one. Strange little men wearing red stockings and high-heeled shoes play at nine pins in what Washington Irving story about a champion sleeper? Rip Van Winkle. That's Rip Van Winkle. Right. It has been said that the Constitution is the cement of the U.S. If this is true, what document can be considered as its temporary glue from 1781 to 88? Articles of Confederation. That's right. Now on the monitor, what's the value of the expression show? Four. That's right. Modern politicians may face rocky times, but what Aztec ruler was stoned by his own subjects while a prisoner of Cortez? Montezuma. That's right. Choice, which of the following is an example of a physical change? The melting of ice, the burning of wood, the rusting of iron? Melting of ice. That's right. In a fairy tale, Rapunzel let down her hair, but what did Della Young do with her hair in O. Henry's story, The Gift of the Magi? Cut it. That's right, or sold it, that's good. When the British attacked Philadelphia, the Continental Congress fled to two Pennsylvania towns that ironically bore the names of what families that fought the War of the Roses, name either. Lancaster. That's right, or York. So there, you got them all, right? It's a bonus there for Hammond. Yes, very good. 25 points. Right. <laughs> Hammond knocked out all eight, uh, eight uh, questions. So let's see what this has done to the score. Calvert Hall now at 330. Frederick in second now at 350. Hammond the lead at 425. There we go. All right, grab bag free for all time. 20 up for a right answer and 20 off for a wrong answer in this round. The Confederate General Joseph Johnston was a nephew by marriage of what Revolutionary War hero who had said, give me liberty or give me death, Hammond? Patrick Henry. That's right. Nebraska is the only state in the U.S. with a unicameral legislature. All others have a legislature with what other, all right, Frederick? Bicameral. Bicameral is right. And now, at the 1988 Olympics, boxer Kennedy McKinney represented the U.S. in which boxing weight class, whose name suggests a small rooster? All right, Frederick. Featherweight. No, bantam weight there, so 20 down. In American history, who is the only woman who could be described as the wife of one U.S. president? And, all right, uh, I don't see any light. Any light? Uh, Frederick. Abigail Adams. Abigail Adams and the mother of another is right. Shakespeare often used the word sweet in his plays, but he himself was the sweet swan of what river that flows through his hometown? Frederick. Avon. Avon is right. In order to travel directly from the Earth to our sun, you would cross the orbital paths of how many other planets? Frederick. Two. That's right, Mercury and Venus. One of the Union Army captains at Fort Sumter in 1861 was what man from Cooperstown, New York? All right, I don't see any light. Where, uh, Frederick. Anderson? No, it was Abner Doubleday, popularly credited with developing baseball, 20 down. If a man six feet tall casts a shadow four feet long, how long a shadow will a 12-foot wall cast? Art Hammond. Eight. That's right. Uh, to fish off Dogger Bank, you'd go to a sandbar in what sea between England and Denmark? Frederick. North Sea. That's right. When, as the song goes, the saints go marching into heaven, they might be stepping to the music of what archangel, usually depicted with his golden trumpet? Uh, Frederick. Gabriel. That's right. England's 14th century black prince wore his dark armor to battles during what Franco-British war, whose name indicates it lasted a long, long time. Hundred Calvary. years war. Hundred years. Robert Fitzgerald translated Homer's Iliad, but Edward Fitzgerald long ago translated whose famous Rubaiyat, who has that? Omar Khayyam. Ox-Eye Daisy was the name sometimes given to the state flower of Maryland, better known by the name uh, Hammond. Black Eyed Susan. That's right, of course. Almost a century and a half after we dealt with the Barbary pirates, American forces returned to Africa to battle with German general, the Desert Fox, Frederick Rommel. That's right. 
The U.S. Constitution requires that a census be conducted every 10 years. In what specific year? All right, Governor Hall. 1990. 1790 was our first official census, so 20 down. Choice of the following three lenses, which one is capable of converging all light rays to a common point known as the focus? Double convex, double concave, plano concave. Anybody have it? All right, cover Plano concave. Let me hear you. Plano concave. Double convex, so 20 down. Although they do not often play professionally, women account for about 70% of Americans who have studied what musical instrument? The woodwind associated with the late Benny Goodman. Hammond. Clarinet. That's right. If a number that is increased by nine times itself equals 80, what is the number? What is that? Eight is the answer. I'm sorry, too late. The American writer Ralph Mannheim is perhaps best known as the translator of books by what German novelist? All right, that was Gunter Grass, and that's the end of the game! You see this crown shape? This means this is a red, delicious apple. All right, Melanie? The most important thing is a nice golden color. No green in the webbing. When you're stacking oranges, it's just like laying bricks. You stack them so they're locked. That way, when a customer wants them. The giant we believe in helping people become the best the they nice can be. golden color. And caring is the first step. There's something very special inside this package. Something fresh and cool. Something elegant and creamy and almost heavenly. It's giant gourmet ice cream, and there's only one place on earth you'll find it. All right, thank you very much. Welcome back. Now I have the pleasure of introducing the giant staff members who will present today's scholarship awards. Thanks very much to the young men from Calvert Hall and Towson. They have 310 points. Here's the scholarship for $200. Kelly Quigley, cashier of the giant at Hillen Avenue in Baltimore. Thank you, Dennis, Michael, and Bimo for being with us today. And, boy, this is a great comeback for this team from Frederick, which has not been with us for a long, long time. Or maybe this is the first time we've got to go back and search our files. Anyway, look at that big score, 450. Frederick High, and another scholarship for $200. That's Beverly Reinecke, cashier at the Giants at Westridge Square in Frederick. Thank you, Andrew, William, and Amy for being with us. And here's our winning team and winning score in Howard County in Columbia, Maryland. 505 points. Hammond High! <laughs> And the scholarship for $250 presented by Gail Goodrich from the giant food store at the Owen Brown Shopping Center in Columbia. So that means our winning team, Hammond, will return in the new year, believe it or not, against two other first-round winners in a playoff match. Next week, it's another first round. There it is, Mount St. Joe, Owings Mills, Queen Anne's County meet on our show. I'm Mac McGarry. Thank you, especially parents and teachers. And now, come on up here. Hit it! <laughs> It's Academic has been brought to you by Giant Food, where caring about quality, value, and service is only the beginning. <laughs>